welcome student in another tutorial for e-learning platform geovision in this tutorial we will discuss about location extent and physical features of india that is unit 3 already we have done one more tutorial about interpretation of topographical maps i think that you have watch that tutorial first we will attempt online examination through google form this link you will get from the description box so first we will pause the tutorial then we will attempt online examination then we will play for the more detail and explanation of the answer welcome student for explanation now question number one which of the following imaginary line almost divided india into two equal parts option a equator option b topic of cancer option c topic of capricorn and option d arctic circle so from this map will able to say without any doubts topic of cancer is the correct answer one more additional information we will know about the topic of cancer almost divided india into two equal parts india begin to taper down at 22 degree north just from here in india topic of cancer processes through eight states here first one is gujarat this one next rajasthan one more madhya pradesh next chhattisgarh jharkhand west bengal Tripura and Mizoram. So, from all those states, different type of questions will come. So, correct option is B, topic of concern. Next question number two, India's latitudinal and longitudinal extent measure in degrees are almost the same, but its east-west extent measure in kimi is greater than its north-south extent. This is due to the fact that why this type of difference is happening. First, according to the questions option A, longitudes are not parallel lines. B, the distance between longitudes is greatest at the equator and nil at the poles where all longitudes join. C, all longitudes with their opposites from greater circles option number d the earth is not a perfect shape so from these options which one is the correct answer let's move for the explanation see students from this picture first we will learn these are the longitudinal extension western most meridian this is value is 68 degree 7 minute east and here 97 97 degree 25 minute east so different between this longitude is about 20 it's about 29 degree 18 minute longitude but in another case latitudinal extension in northern part 8 degree 0 4 minute north to south sorry north 
नॉर्थ थर्टी सेवेन डिग्री सिक्स मिनिट नॉर्थ सो हेयर डिफरेंस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन डिग्री टू मिनिट लैटिट्यूड सो सी स्टूडेंट हेयर डिफरेंट ओनली सिक्सटीन मिनिट बट इफ यूल सी ईस्ट वेस्ट डिस्टेंस ईस्ट वेस्ट डिस्टेंस इज टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री किमीज बट नॉर्थ साउथ नॉर्थ साउथ डिस्टेंस इज थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड फोर्टीन किमीज हेयर स्टूडेंट्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू दिस टू हंड्रेड एट्टी सो दिस टाइप ऑफ डिफरेंस हैपनिंग ड्यू टू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन लॉन्गिट्यूड इज ग्रेटेस्ट एट द इक्वेटर ऑलरेडी स्टूडेंट्स इफ यूल थ्रो वन सर्कल फ्रॉम दिस सर्कल सी दिस इज द इक्वेटर at equator point all the longitudes difference is more than the pole due to the regions here longitudes and latitudes difference is minimum but exact distance between north and south are too much so for the region here option b is the correct answer next move for question number 3 which of the following states does not have a common frontier with china so very simple jammu and kashmir option a option b bihar option c himachal pradesh option d sikkim e uttaranchal let's move for the map here jammu kashmir already it is it is attached with china next himachal pradesh also attached with china Uttaranchal also attached with China, Sikkim also attached with China, Arunachal Pradesh also attached with China, but Bihar it does not attach with China. So here correct option is B. Next question number four: The length of the land frontier of India is option number A, fifteen thousand one hundred fifty kilometers, fifteen thousand. Five kilometers only, fifteen thousand two hundred kilometers, and option D, fourteen thousand nine hundred fifty kilometers. Map land frontier is fifteen thousand two hundred kilometers. So students see, this is the land frontier. But as additional, we will learn. the coast line or water bodies frontier distance in down part here this part to this part how much length that is 7517 km at addition we have to learn it may be questions if you will come obviously you will able to answer it so correct answer is option c next move for the question number 5 very interesting questions the sun rises in arunachal pradesh 2 hours before it does in daroka sunset point in gujarat every time this is because the former is option a higher in elevation than daroka sunset point option b situated further north than daroka sunset point option c situated further east than daroka sunset point option d situated about 3000 km east of daroka sunset point which option is the correct option for that question little bit explanation is required we know very well the sun rises 2 hours earlier in arunachal pradesh as compared to gujarat in the west we calculate the indian standard time 
according to the time of standard meridian of India that is 82 degree 30 minute east and hence the watches show the same time in both the states this is happened because the longitudinal gap between Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat is about approx 30 minute okay 30 minute longitudes and we know very well that is one minute longitude different is four minutes already we have learned from class nine and here 30 minute means 30 multiply 4 equal to 120 minutes 120 minutes means near about two hours fine due to this reason there is time lack of about two hours between this place since Arunachal Pradesh is in the east the sun rises earlier they are compared to Gujarat so option C is the correct answer here option C will be the correct answer fine next move for question number six which of the following is called the southernmost Himalayas that is Shivalik, Himadri, Himachal or none of these so here students from this map will able to learn what is the correct answer see from here this is the main Himalaya that is called the greatest Himalaya and in most northern part one more range is there that is called Tethys Himalaya and southern part in respect of the greater Himalaya here one more range is situated that is called Lesser Himalaya or Himachal Himalaya and last one is see here already read, written Shivalik range this is the last one actually it looks like a stair okay so first is Shivalik then Himachal then Great Himalaya Himadri Himalaya and then up one is the Tethys Himalaya so without any doubts Shivalik is the southernmost Himalaya and correct answer is option A next Question number seven, the Himalayas are formed due to, for which reason? Faulting of the earth crust or accumulation of loess deposited or folding of the geosyncline named Tethys or option D, folding of the earth crust. So option A, B, C, D, which one is the correct answer? Let's move for the explanation. See, this is the, so near about 200, 50 million years ago during the Permian periods it started to form this mountain actually northern part here that is Angaraland and southern part is Gondwana land both of the part they moves each other at the same time there were many rivers which were flowing into the Tethys sea sediments were brought by these rivers and were deposited on the floor of the Tethys sea so due to that reason Himalayan were formed so for that reason Option C is the correct answer. Holding of the geocene client name Tethys. Here correct answer is option C. Next move for question number 8. Consider the following statement which are related to the Karakoram mountain range. This type of questions you will get a lot of here. So first read carefully. The world's second highest mountain peak K2 that is Godwin Austin which has a height of 8611 meters belong to this chain of mountain not only that but also it rises from the Pamir North 
in the northwest and stretches towards southwest up to the Indus George in Jammu and Kashmir. So which statement are correct here? Of only one, two, or both, or nothing? No, uh, that two uh, statements are wrong. So next, move for the discussion. Here, see. Actually, the world's second highest mountain is K2 Gordon Austin. The here K2 here, okay, and it is linked with. Pamir not already it is traced like that way and this peak height is 8611 meters obviously without any doubts option C means both statements are correct option C is the correct answer next move for question number nine the Deccan trap is made of with which one granite metamorphic rock sedimentary rock or basalt next move for explanation here see Deccan trap see student this is situated here Deccan trap actually Deccan traps is located on the Deccan plateau in west central India west central India and is one of the largest volcanic province in the world this is it is known as the flat basalt province. The Deccan Plateau consists of more than 2000 meter thick succession of flat lying basalt, basalt lava flows. So, basalt is the igneous extru extrusive rocks without any doubts. Option D is the correct answer next moves for the question number 10 keep below are two statements or one level as assertion this type of questions may come and the other level as reason select your answer from the quotes given below consider related to the third digit which of the below statements each or are correct here Assassin, the desert continues into Pakistan as the Khalistan desert and region is most of the third desert is situated in Rajasthan covering 61% of its geographic area. So option A, B, C, D out of that which option is the correct option. Let's move for the explanation here. See from this map. Will this is the Thor desert fine and then it has two part one is some part situated in Pakistan and rest of the part situated in India here actually this place this is the name is Khalistan okay Khalistan rest of the part is known as Thor. One more information I want to give you that is same desert but in Pakistan its name Khalistan in India its name Thor. So statement one is assertion is correct and most of the Thor desert situated in Rajasthan and 61% more than 61% it is situated in India. So obviously region also the correct answer so here both a and r are correct that's why option c is the correct answer and one more information i want to give you that is the 20th largest desert in the world not only that but also ninth ninth largest hot subtropical desert in the world so for extra as additional information we have to remember this one next so students if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and attempt in google classroom without any uh, uh, sorry attempt in 
Google form for online examination without any hesitation and I will give uh, one by one tutorial according to your syllabus of semester one continuously. Let's move for question number 11. Give below are two statements are labeled as assertion and reason also. For what? For for that is assertion, western ghats are not true mountain. Yes, we are not telling that this is not a true mountain according to the questions. And reason is the western ghat represent the precipitous western age of the plateau uplift in the present form. Here option A, B, C, which one is the correct? Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of it. It may be both A, A and R are true, but a is not the correct explanation of R and A and R both are one is true, one is false and A is false, R is true. So which option will be the correct? Actually this type of questions first we have to learn, read carefully then after that we will attempt the answer. Otherwise if we will do uh, hurry up then what will be? It may be mistakes may be happen. So first listen carefully. This is the map. Okay. So see. First, that is the two ranges have. One is East Western Ghat, another is the Eastern Ghat. This is the Arabian Sea, this is the Bay of Bengal. Okay, here Ghat means what? River landing stairs or mountain pass. See, Western Ghats are possibly a false craft or the crest of the western edge of the Deccan plate means what this is the Deccan plateau and this is the western edge fine and these are the actual border of the Deccan plateau hence truly both are not the mountain that's why Option A is the correct answer. For getting any doubts, you may comment on the comment box. I will try to give the answer. Next, question number 12. Consider the following diagram that is the picture based questions. The symbol 1, 2, 3, and 4 represents. So, which one is the correct answer? Here, see, already we have learned before. That is the, this is the Swalik. Next one is the Lesser Himalaya and then Greater Himalaya and Tethys Himalaya. So obviously Shivali, Lesser Himalaya, Greater Himalaya and Tethys Himalaya. Option A is the correct answer. Next move for the next question. See here already I give here one mark but according to the latest guideline of the ICC for online examination semester 1 you will get 4 marks from the single questions. But here see list and matching matching we have to do it list one block these are the type of the mountain blocks block mountain folded mountain relic mountain volcanic mountain here name of the uh, 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 mountains here himalayas barren aravali and Sadhguru. so which option is the correct option let's move for the explanation first see Satpura and Binda, both are the block mountain. This is the relic mountain. Himalayan is the folded mountain. Here, barren. Barren, this is the volcanic mountain. So obviously, without any doubt, option D is the correct answer. Next moves for question number 14. Consider the following statements. Is R true? Is R related to the Aravalli range? Again, Aravalli range came. It's oldest mountain range in India running across Rajasthan from northeast to southwest direction extending approximately 800 km and to the northern end of the range continues as isolated hills and rocky ridges into Haryana ending near Delhi. So which option is the correct option? Option 1 or both are wrong or both 1 and 2 is the correct? or neither one and two. Here see, <coughs> this is the explanation. From explanation, we will able to uh, find out the answer. Here, it is the oldest mountain range in India. 
ओके फाइन वायर दिस अरा बोल दी फाइन एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड राजस्थान नॉर्थ ईस्ट टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट टू साउथ वेस्ट एंड इट इज एक्सटेंडेड नियर अबाउट एट हंड्रेड किमीज एंड इट इज एक्सटेंडेड टील दिल्ली सो बोथ वन एंड टू इज द करेक्ट एंड दे आर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फाइन नेक्स्ट मूव फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फिफ्टीन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज आर रिलेटेड टू द ग्रेट प्लेन ऑफ नॉर्थन इंडिया नॉर्थन इंडिया ग्रेट प्लेन ऑफ नॉर्थन इंडिया ओके वट स्टेटमेंट वन द बल्क ऑफ द इंदास बेसिन फॉल्स विथ इन पाकिस्तान बट ए पार्ट ऑफ इट इज शेयर बाय पंजाब हरियाणा स्टेटमेंट टू द गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र बेसिन इज लार्जर ऑफ द टू एंड कवर्स ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टेट्स इन नॉर्थन इंडिया सो हुईज वन इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन टू बोथ वन एंड टू और नाइदर वन एंड वन और two let's move for the discussion see here this is the indus river already we know okay and different type of tributaries are there like satadru vipasa iravati chandrabhaga so all are located in punjab and haryana fine but Indus River Basin major part in Pakistan. Here, see Ganga. This is the Ganga River Basin, and this is the Bhamaputra River Basin. And all two river basin cover Haryana, Uttaranchal, some part of the Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal. Here, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Nagaland, Meghalaya. So, major states of northern India cover all those two river basin for that region. Correct option is C, both one and two. Next moves for sixteen. Consider the following statements. is are related to the western ghat or swadri mountain see here again swadri will discuss it's run along the western edge of the india deccan plateau and separated it from the narrow coastal plain along the ravan sea the range run approximately 1600 km from south of the tapti river near the gujarat maharashtra border and across the maharashtra goa karnataka Kerala and Tamil Nadu to the southern tip of the Deccan Peninsula. So, which option are the correct option? Option A, B, C, D given here. Let's move for the explanation. See here first, Western Ghat or Swadhri run from this is the Narmada Tapti. Okay, this is Tapti and Narmada. From here started. Swadhri or Western Ghat, and it is start north to south along the western edge of the Deccan Plateau, and separated the plateau from narrow coastal range. Not only that, but also length of this range near about sixteen hundred kilometers, and this range is situated in maharashtra goa karnataka tamil nadu and kerala till the kanyakumari so both 1 and 2 are the correct answer next move for question number 17 consider the following in related to the eastern coastal plain western done next move for the eastern coastal plain statement 1 it is a wide stretch of land lying between the eastern ghat <coughs> and oceanic boundary of india it stretches from tamil nadu into the south to west bengal in the east 
statement two this region does not receive any of the northeast monsoon and southeast monsoon rain so which option is the correct option a b c d both only one correct statement one correct two correct or both correct or both incorrect let's move for the explanation little explanation we will do it c from this is the eastern ghat this is the eastern ghat actually it is lying between the eastern ghat and origin uh, uh, oceanic boundary of india it stays from tamil nadu into the south to west bengal in the east here yeah, like that and this region does not receive see here actually south west monsoon coming and rain also receive first western ghat receive but obviously eastern eastern ghat some part of the uh, rain it's receive at the same time when it's coming north eastern north eastern monsoon obviously first eastern ghat receive this monsoon rain for that region statement 2 is not the correct that's why option d is the correct option mean statement 1 is the correct but 2 is incorrect next move for question number 18 which of the following is not a essential feature of indian india's east coastal plain see first feature number 1 lagoon are comparatively little in this plain comparatively little the eastern plain has more or less a straight coast where good port are lacking mostly of emergent type characterized by offshore bar pine seas and reefs and lagoons feature number 4 it is the submerged coast and hence tilting has left no scope for depositional action of the river so option a uh, option a only 1 and 2 correct option b 1 2 3 correct option c only 4 correct option d only 1 and 2 correct so here we have to find out which one is not c we have to focus this one we which feature is not the correct feature that one we have to learn that's why read carefully the questions and after that try to attempt the option okay so move for the explanation here see in first feature we will discuss lagoons are comparatively little in this plain yes right because of that what in eastern part chilka lake in odisha pulikot lake in tamil nadu bhemanath in kerala and uh, kalivali lagoons in tamil nadu okay so these are the few number of lagoons are there and feature number 2 mostly of emergent type characterized by the offshore bar pine sea beaches here from west bengal diga to kanyakumarika different type of pine sea beach beaches are there so option feature 1 and 2 are the correct in respect of this statement and number 2 the eastern plain has more or less straight coast where good port are lacking here see only haldia kolkata paradi bhaijak chennai except this one no port are there okay so less number okay this is also correct but see here feature number 4 it is the submerged coast and hence this is not a submerged coast so it is not a submerged coast and hence there is no questions of tilting that's why feature number 4 is not the correct option for the region option c is the correct answer actually 4 is not match with this feature next move for the question number 19 where does pox strait lies sri lanka and maldive india and sri lanka india and maldives both a and b here from this picture already very clearly we can say it is situated india between india and sri lanka pox strait between tamil nadu state of india tamil nadu state of india yes and and the jaf jafna district of the northern province of the island nation of sri lanka so be careful about that one is sometime it may be 
it will be given uh, that is uh, india and sri lanka sometime it will be given tamil nadu and jaffna district okay fine within this that that is little additional information we have to know another part is that this strait of is near about 42 80k 80 miles me in kilometer 64 to 137 kilometer wide okay and long is 85 miles and it is depth is near about 100 meters okay so as additional we uh, will know about that but correct correct option is option b india and sri lanka next move for the last questions which of the following water bodies separated the andaman from the nicobar <coughs> 11 degree channel gulf of Man, uh, myanmar 10 degree ch channel and andaman seas so from this picture this is the andaman island this is the nicobar island and in between 10 degree channel is there so 10 degree channel that is separates the andaman island and the nicobar island fine and as addition just we will learn little information that is the, the this channel is near about 150 kilometers wide okay and and approximately 10 km in long okay wide and long and minimum depth is 7.3 m okay so correct answer is the 10 degree channel option is c so students thank you for your watching this tutorial again we will meet with another one more tutorial with this unit till the time learn with this e learning platform if you like again i am telling if you like this tutorial please share with your friends without any now we will see how many students they attempt google classroom from the last tutorial yes all these are the graphs and name of the students obviously next tutorial those who will attempt in this online platform obviously i will show their name so thank you once again please subscribe this channel to get update and earlier notification about geography